So how do you think things get better in the world? How do you think like we go from the mess we're in to a better life? You see this picture here of me? I'm only a couple of days old. Okay, I have just popped out and I am already disgusted. Look at that face. Look at that face that says, this it? This all you got for me? You know, you gotta be kidding me. This is as good as it gets here. My mother says that I was moving around like crazy inside or couldn't wait to get out. But apparently from when I was hatched, I have looked around and said, this can't be it. This can't be as good as you people can do here. And I think we all can recognize that uh, we don't live right on this planet. And how does it get better? How do we go from what we got to something better? You know, there is a story that I remember hearing numerous times called the 100th Monkey. It was about how on the South Pacific Islands, there was um, all of a sudden the monkeys on this one island started washing their sweet potatoes before they would eat them. And the story goes that over time, eventually enough monkeys started to do that automatically that it reached a threshold and then all of a sudden, all the monkeys on all the islands would wash their sweet potatoes before eating them. And it was told to us, I heard in a number of like workshops and conferences and, you know, inspirational speakers using it as a way of saying like, you know, as we improve, we reach a threshold whereby uh, something that is automatically better um, takes root and all of a sudden it becomes the way you do things. And it was discovered to be a complete lie. Okay. They were telling this like all over the place and it, it never happened. There was no historical basis for any of it. And actually anybody who has a brain in their head that can see the way they themselves grow and the way things work in the world, you, you don't just reach a point where like all of a sudden, yep, we all got it and that's it. Growth is hard, tough, and you pay for it. Okay. And that's the real world. Okay, so how do we change the world? First of all, we stop, all right, waiting for magical solutions, all right? We, we really be rooted in reality that we all gotta work to make the world better, okay? Um, I had a really concrete experience of how do you change the world when I was in Nicaragua. Nicaragua was in, embroiled in a horrific, br brutal civil war that they still really economically and maybe socially have not recuperated from. And I met in this remote village two guys. They were on opposite ends in that war, the Sandinistas and the Contras. And in that war, they would have gladly killed each other. But then what happened when the war came to an end, they both realized that neither one of the groups that they belonged to were sincerely interested in helping people. That it was about ideology more than it was about people. And these two guys who had been bitter enemies in this village had joined together, okay, to work hard for the good of their community. And to see that was, you know, I wanted to remember that, okay, because it really comes down to it's not ideology that changes the world. It's not even systems that change the world. It's people digging in their heels where they're planted with people who may have been previously enemies for the good of God's work, which is the development of people and his kingdom, okay? So just some ideas for you. I mean, I could probably do an entire sit down long YouTube video about changing the world. In fact, you should read my book, A Civilization of Love, and it is about that to an extent. But I just want to give you a couple ideas out there, okay? So um, pay attention to that side of yourself that really looks around and says, this can't be as good as it gets. Don't expect change to happen, you know, miraculously out of nowhere. Okay, and really be willing to work hard and sometimes join with people that, you know, you never thought you would and do that all for the glory of God. Pray and work. Okay, God bless you. Go for it. Rock the planet. We need you.